What's up, tennis fans? I'm Richard Pagliaro, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. Well, some people go to South Florida to retire. Former Boca Raton resident Andy Roddick returned to Miami to reload. Six years after collecting his first Sony Ericsson Open Championship, a revitalized Roddick rolled to a 7-5, 6-4 victory over Thomas Burditch in the Sony Ericsson Open Final on Easter Sunday. Roddick, who won 61 of 63 service games in the tournament, slammed 13 aces and did not face a break point in the final. Raising his record to an ATP best 26-4 on the season, the six-seeded Roddick captured his first Masters 1000 title since he beat Juan Carlos Ferrero to win the 2006 Cincinnati title. It was Roddick's 29th career championship, his second title of the season. Roddick opened the season, sweeping Roddick Stepanak to win Brisbane in January. Runner-up to Ivan Lubitschik in last month's Indian Wells final, Roddick slammed 13 aces without facing a break point. After the match, Roddick said, obviously it's a big title for me. Felt a little bit of pressure to win this one because I had a pretty good opportunity in Indian New Wells and I didn't come through there. I think just the last month has been really good for me. I've played well in the big moments, haven't had an off day mentally, and I've been able to execute. The 27-year-old Roddick has won 11 of his last 12 matches, including an upset win over Rafael Nadal in the semis. Burdich beat three top 10 players, world number one Roger Federer, Fernando Verdasco, and Robin Soderling en route to the final. And Kim Clijsters transformed another final Saturday into a Mother's Day celebration. With two-year-old daughter Jada watching from the stands, Clijsters crushed Venus Williams 6-2, 6-1 in a 58-minute blowout to capture the Sony Ericsson Open for the second time. It was Clijsters' second straight win over former world number one. She held off arch-rival Justine Ennin 7-6 in the third set of a gripping all-Belgian semifinal. Reigning U.S. Open champion Clijsters claimed her 37th career championship, including her third title since launching her comeback seven and a half months ago. The victory vaults Clijsters back into the top ten for the first time since she was ranked number four when she retired from the Pro Tour on May 6, 2007. Said Clijsters after the match, I was just so excited to be back here after I won in 2005. Venus is a great competitor and one of the best that women's tennis has ever had. I knew I had to come out here and play well. The U.S. Open Men's Clay Court Championships kicks off at River Oaks in Houston today with a doubles duel of experience versus youth. Houston's own Michael Russell partners former Wimbledon semifinalist Xavier Melisse against American phenom Ryan Harrison and Donald Young. Reigning champion Leighton Hewitt, who underwent hip surgery and arthroscopic surgery on his right knee after the Australian Open in January, hit the practice courts on Sunday and pronounced himself fit and ready to go. Hewitt has a first round bye and will face either Marty Fish, who's coming off the upset win over Andy Murray in Miami, or a qualifier on Wednesday. That's it for now. For Tennis Now, I'm Richard Pagliaro, and we'll speak to you soon.